Hi everyone, I'm Karen and in this video you're going to learn how to manifest money. This is the exact seven step formula that I have used and has allowed me to earn over $10,000 in a month part time online and over $43,000 in one year part time online and make more money in a week than I do on my six figure income job as a physical therapist. What you're gonna learn is the techniques to attract more money into your life and have more freedom and choices to do what you love. You are seven steps away from manifesting money and we are getting started right now. Number one is to have your goals written out very clearly and the problem most people have is they don't have goals and they don't have them written out. Just an example of how powerful it is to write out your goals is there was a room full of Olympic athletes and they were asked, how many of you have goals? And of course they all raised their hand because everybody wants to win the gold medal, right? Then they had them put their hands down and they said, how many of you have your goals written down? The only people that raised their hand were the people who won the gold medal. That's how powerful it is to write your goals down. So you, also, you don't want to type them out. You want to write them out because there's something about your hand to the pen and paper that encodes it into your subconscious mind. And you also want to make sure that you write them out correctly because you don't want to write something like, I will do this or I want to do this. It has to be in present tense. I'm going to share with you an example of how you should write a goal. So let's take a look at this right now. Now, some of you may write, my goal is, but I learned this from the amazing Bill Bartman. He was a billionaire and he created several millionaires in his lifetime. I don't know how many, but it was a lot. And he said, this is the most important thing, is your goals that you have them written out and how you have them written out. And he said, rather than write my goal, you write my promise. Because when you make a promise to somebody or you make a promise to yourself, it's more powerful than if you just write my goal is. So here's an example. My promise by December 31st, 2020 or sooner, I'm profiting $10,000 per month or more in my business. And then I learned this from Bob Proctor, You Were Born Rich program. After that, you write, ask and it is given, seeking you shall find, knock and the door shall be opened unto you. And the thing too that you wanna do is you wanna write these goals out, like on an index card. You want to laminate them and keep them with you at all times. I learned this from Bob Proctor as well. You want to review your goals at least twice a day, three times and Bob, when he was starting out, it was amazing how much money he earned in his first month. But he said, look at them as often as you can throughout the day. And because that keeps your mind focused on what it is that you want, because you can't hit a target that you, that you don't set. So give your mind clear instructions and review it several times a day. Number two is to change your self-talk with daily affirmations. The problem that most people have is that they're telling themselves things that they don't want, like I'm poor, I can't afford it, I'm broke, nothing ever works out for me, those kind of things. And so you want to fill your mind with affirmations of what you actually want. And I learned that you don't actually have to believe these affirmations. It becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. What you tell yourself actually does come true. Great example of this is a book called The Power of Your Subconscious Mind. If you've never read this, I highly recommend it. There's several stories in here, absolutely incredible, of things that people would say to themselves over and over and over again, and then it actually came true. And it wasn't good things, but he explains in very clear terms why it is that what you tell yourself comes true. It's an excellent book. And I wanna share with you what I do. It's called Prosperity Gratitude Affirmations. I listen to this in the morning as I'm getting ready. You can put in earbuds and I recommend you do it at a time where you're just kind of doing something that you have to do anyway, like cleaning or driving. Let's take a look at it. I put it on my blog post so you guys could see what the affirmations are. But he says these and then you, he gives you a little time to repeat afterwards. And I'm telling you, the more you do this, you actually will start to believe it. And it, it's good to do it at a time where again, you're just doing something idle because it just, after you say them enough times, it comes out like just naturally. You'll repeat it over and over again. So I highly recommend that you do that. And the problem is, again, that most people don't believe their affirmations, but in these affirmations, he does have some that are believable, kind of mixed in there with it. So your whole mind isn't saying, oh, this isn't, this isn't true. So number two, change your self-talk. Number three is you wanna visualize, and you don't have to sit here all day and picture 
what it is that you want in your mind. But after you do, you say your goals to yourself, you close your eyes for just a minute and think of that goal actually already being accomplished and how happy you will be at that time. And I'm gonna share with you two stories on how powerful visualization is. This is absolutely incredible. The first one is Jerry Clark. He's a self-made millionaire. He was in network marketing. I don't know if he still is, but he's a speaker and trainer now. Then he said he had a goal of earning $100,000 in one month. He said every night before he went to bed, he would have this little movie that he would play in his mind. He said, I visualize myself having the check, going to the bank, standing in a line at the bank. There were male and female tellers. I walked up to a female teller. I handed her the check. She did a double take. She went over to her manager. The manager made some kind of phone call. She came back with the manager and they asked him, sir, what would you like for us to do with this check? And he said, oh, it doesn't matter. You put it in checking your savings. It comes every month. And then he laughed and he said, they laughed too. He said he did this over and over and over again in the workshop of his imagination. And he said, it came true exactly as he had visualized it. He made $100,000 in one month. He said, I went to the bank, I stood in line. There was a male and female teller. I went to the female teller, went over to her manager. He made some kind of phone call. It was exactly like in his visualization. And he said, I couldn't not say it. It was like I was talking off of a script and they were too. And it's amazing how when, and I've heard stories like this before where someone visualizes something, the exact detail of how they want it to happen. And it's exactly like they visualize it. One more example for you. It's a book called Zero Resistance Selling. And this is by Maxwell Malt, who wrote the best-selling book, Psycho Cybernetics. And in this book, there was a story of a man that was going to be doing some sort of presentation and selling someone. And he, he said, this person had such a bad reputation for being really difficult to deal with. And this was a very important deal that he wanted to get and to make this sale. So what he did was he learned everything that he could about this person. And he actually had like a script that he wrote out in his mind where he, he would say this, the other person would say whatever it is that he imagined them to say. And so when he had the meeting with this person, he said it was exactly like this person was reading off the script that he had visualized in his mind. He said what he was gonna say and then what he imagined that person to say, they said the exact same thing that he imagined them to say. It was absolutely incredible and of course he got the deal and everything turned out fine. But it's amazing how you can do this and it, it comes true exactly like you have pictured it. Number four is to create a vision board and our mind thinks in pictures. And again, we have to tell our mind very clearly what it is that we want. What it does is when you put pictures of what you want on, let's say like a bulletin board, or you could just put it inside of a notebook if you don't want people to see it. What it does is it tells your mind exactly what it is that you want. It activates what's called your reticular activating system because we have all these things that we filter out each day and you only filter in what it is that you believe and the things that you want. So you have to tell your mind exactly what you want. And a great example of how this works is in Jack Canfield's Success Principles. I read this in this book. I highly recommend this book as well. But the two actresses in The Mommies had a vision board and they said absolutely everything on their vision board came true. And I've heard that countless times. So you could do things like, let's say you want to make a lot of money on ClickBank. You could go on the internet and print off a screenshot of someone else's ClickBank account and put that on your vision board. Like this is the amount of money that you want to make. You could take a picture of your bank account and change it. Um, you know, if you can do some sort of editing or you can just like cut out numbers and paste them on there and put that on your vision board. So you're telling your mind, this is exactly what I want. You can also put little things in your car as you're driving. You can see little screenshots of things that you want. So vision boards, super, super powerful. Number five is you want to write out your goal three times a day. And I learned this from Les Brown. And again, it goes back to you taking the pen on the paper and that encodes it in your subconscious mind. So Les Brown says, write out your goal seven times, three times a day. And I do this as well. 
he explained exactly how it happens. Number six, take daily inspired action. Find a mentor who has accomplished what it is that you want to do and do more money making, income producing activities, even if it's uncomfortable. Do exactly what they say to do. Number seven is gratitude and I think we forget about this. I learned this from a million dollar earner on stage one time. He said, I learned this from my mentor and this is what has made the biggest difference in my life. He said, I learned from my mentor, be as grateful for a penny as you are for a million dollars. Now, how many times have you found a penny on the ground and you're not grateful for that? But he said that has what made the hugest difference in his life. And think about it, if you make like $25 commission online and you see somebody else making $2,000 commission, how grateful are you for that $25? Again, you need to be as grateful for that as you would be if you made $2,000. And what I would recommend that this is what I do, I have a calendar and each day I write down how much money I make and I'm super grateful for it. Back when I was making pennies a day, I was very grateful for that. And of course it's more money now, but being grateful is the greatest way to attract more money into your life. And I would recommend also writing down five things a day that you're grateful for. And then at the end of the month, just review those things that you've written down. Because again, gratitude is a, the greatest force, I think, to attract more money into your life. It's a process and you know this won't happen overnight, but you have to continue to do these things over and over and over again. Great example is the story of the bamboo tree. They water the tree for four years. Nothing shows through the ground. It's watered, it's tended to, and then in the fifth year, the bamboo tree breaks through the ground and grows 80 feet in six weeks. So just because you're not seeing it yet doesn't mean that things are not happening. So stick with it. These are techniques that absolutely do work. I hope you guys found some value in how to manifest money in your life. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you wanna learn more information like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Also, if you wanna learn my number one recommendation for making money, that'll be the first link in the description below the video. You can check it out if you'd like. And if you like this video, I think you'll really like these two videos coming up. Little known secret to making seven figures online and the secret to success online. Go ahead and click on them now. They're getting started right now.